Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the Getting Together podcast. As you can see, we are now kind of in the festive Christmas mood. Woo-hoo! It is uh, the, for the first of December, I think. <laughs> Did you get that out? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, I didn't. It is not the first of December. Well, it will be when this airs. Will it not? Um. Is there something back there? <laughs> is there like a poltergeist? A Christmas I see a poltergeist? Red dot. But well, that's, no, the that's, that's the record thing. That's okay. the record. Excuse me. Excuse you me. can't see that. All right. Yeah. She so, can see that. Um, what was your question? <laughs> it's not. Oh, when this airs. Yes. First of December. First right. of December. Right. Excellent. Right. Welcome to December. Welcome to the holiday wow. season. We hope you had a really, really good Thanksgiving. And uh, did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. It was nondescript. So okay. that's good in our family. <laughs> when there's good. no chaos. No, just rest. I napped which is huge that is good and we ate i just did a little tiny little turkey breast okay and it was dry oh that's but too bad. that's about i did in the crock pot. the crock the pot, crock did. pot pioneer woman cooked my turkey breast yeah, this year no. so no, she's no dead crock. to me because she made it dry uh so yeah. did you put a whole turkey in the crock pot a turkey breast they're only little little so so you bought a, a turkey raw breast. turkey yeah, breast frozen put i didn't know you could do that pot. i had yeah. no idea little chicken broth yeah yep my nose is running (laughs) it's just going south fast (laughs) nice it's cold in here it's a little chilly my hands are uh, a little chilly but that's good it kind of helps give it that festive atmosphere because it's been really gorgeous yes it has been and then you just want to hold a nice mug of coffee warm your hands up here at the porch yes in the american warehouse which i think jesse put right up here in case you didn't know it's right there and we also have a uh, what do you you call this that is a coaster okay good this is a coaster Uh, because the american warehouse is like a famous landmark in prescott don't ask me why but there are people that know things and we'll have them on and they will tell you why american American warehouse Warehouse. is like a thing it's such a big thing so now that we are officially in the christmas season we don't have to worry about you know should i put on the christmas music should i not put on the christmas music Uh, there's a gentleman out here i just saw uh, he has a menorah on the top of his car so we are like in the holiday season through and through but what how do you like to kind of get in that christmas spirit what do you like to do to get in the christmas i i start early because as some of you know you know i'm married to a brit so yes. pilgrims, schmilgrims. Okay, to him. so Thanksgiving is out. We've always decorated on Thanksgiving, and this year I got to do it a week early because everybody okay. was like, "Let's do it." Usually, I'm like the fighting. whole family. Yeah, they were like, "Let's do it." So the tree is up, everything. But I draw the line at Christmas movies until Thanksgiving. There are no Christmas movies allowed. Okay, until Thanksgiving, because there's only so if many. If you're going to decorate, why not put on a Christmas? Because there's only so many, and so okay. you've got to spread them out. Okay, because so we watch one a night, and you only have so many nights. Every night or every yes, weekend? Every, every night. night. Every night. Okay, so what's your lineup? Who you have? Well, now this I'm going to let a little insight into my psyche because yes. I know how you love that. I have like feeling movies. Okay, so. There's movies that I watch while I'm wrapping gifts. There's oh, wow. movies that I watch if the fireplace is on. There's okay. there's certain movies for certain feels. Okay. To set the tone. My girls, you know what I'm saying. So when I say you've got mail, all right, you've got mail is like my fall. Is that a Christmas movie? My fall going into Christmas movie. Okay. Yeah. So that one's before Thanksgiving. Yes, it can be before Thanksgiving or on See, Thanksgiving. See, we're already out the rules. You, you just don't know... Well, because it's it's fall, because she says, or does he say? One of them says, "Don't you just love New York in the fall?" Yes. Okay. Okay. Bouquets of sharpened pencils. Okay. Those are some of the lines. So it's a fall movie, but then she's in her shop, shop around the corner, and she's putting up her little ornaments okay. on the tree, and she's yes. it. So there's the Christmas part of it. Okay. 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 So that helps set the mood right. going into Christmas again. Got it with the nose. Um. So anyway, mm-hmm. so it has to be, and then there's um, 
while you were sleeping. That's a definite Christmas movie. Uh, okay. But for that one, fireplace has to be on. I'm yes. wrapping presents. Okay. There's a feel to it. And now does your family watch these with you? No. Or is this is this is just you? Andy has to watch them with me. Andy. <laughs> Lucky you. Uh, he knows every line. Bless his heart. Wow. And then, you know, you throw out the lines like, uh, this is really light. And it takes you back to while you were sleeping. And you say, like a blue spruce. Because those of you that know the movie, you'll know. Okay. There's so things. with that one, I think there's really only one scene that is worth watching <gasps> in the whole thing. where <gasps> The guy gets hit by the bicycle or like he falls on the ice on the bicycle or something like that. And that's the best. <laughs> Because it seems the kid, like this, when he's throwing the newspaper, whoosh, yeah, boom. <laughs> falls over. Like it makes right. the whole movie. Yeah. It makes the whole movie for me. Right. See, you and I are like that. Like an elf. Yes. What's the line in Elf? Which one? Okay. The thing is the nun. Oh, ready? <laughs> but the, the children <laughs> love the books. <laughs> exactly. It is. It totally makes it. And it totally see, makes it. before we were doing this, you said that line, and I knew I liked you <laughs> right away. I'm like, yes. Okay. He gets it. Yes. Kismet, but the fate. Children love the but the books. Children. It's the best line. It is a very good line. Yeah, it is, it's and it so comes good. at the beginning. It so does. okay, uh, that, I would say that for our family, yeah. definitely Elf is one of those things. Yes. Like Thanksgiving, usually Thanksgiving hits, and uh, we on. get cleaned up and we watch Elf. That is you usually what we do. Up? Well, I mean, like, Where'd you put your three piece suit. On? <laughs> watch you get Elf. Up. Everyone, no. <laughs> You, you need to wear your slacks. <laughs> you Ethan, know get your got, slacks on. You guys you know we're got watching Elf. Ma- matching Christmas pajamas, don't you? No, you sorry. Do. Cleaned up from Thanksgiving. Oh, we get okay. cleaned the up from dishes. Thanksgiving. We're done with the dishes. Everything's wrapped up as okay. far as that's concerned. And right. then uh, and we... And then you can... Ah, we, let it begin. Yes, let it let it begin. So, and and uh, like the music throughout Elf, it's everything is just, it's is just best, awesome. It's the best, Jerry. It's the best. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Yep. So, Elf is really... Really, our only one. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good we one. If you're going to pick one, it's good. Yeah. I have several. I have so many. Can okay. I just share? Can please, I share with you guys? Please share more, okay, Ray. So I love. <laughs> there was a tone. There was a definite tone. I love the okay Christmas in Connecticut. Never heard with of it. Barbara. Oh, I'm just so sorry Barbara for you. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Stanwyck. Stanwyck. No, St- Streisand. Although I, I don't mind her. Barbara Stanwyck. What? I can't. I can't picture her. Oh man, back in the day, oh she was it. So Christmas in Connecticut. Yes. So romantic comedy. Yes. That's what it sounds like. Total romp, black and white. Oh, okay. But so good, and so that's one you guys need to watch. Do you like black and whites? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then of course it's a Wonderful Life. Never seen it. You're joking. No, Pastor Mike, uh, the the gentleman that I work for. Yeah, your boss. Yeah, my boss. Right. Uh, he asked me that. He's like, oh, man, so when do you guys put on It's a Wonderful Life? And, yeah. I, and I just kind of looked at him. I'm like, uh, I have actually never <gasps> seen It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, Jimmy Stewart. I mean, it's like <gasps> it's such a classic, right? Yes. I, mean, I guess there's some sort of moral thread to the story. <laughs> I don't head know. right now. It actually hurts. I can't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, me. I guess I'm going to have to watch that the, the yes. one this year. But it's like it's like a commitment, right? It's like a three-hour movie or no. something? No. Okay. No. But. Hour and a half, maybe. And, uh, yeah, moral story. Like, yes. Okay. It will bring meaning to your life, Jeremy. Wow. I'm not joking. I think You'll I've, be like. I've basically seen some of the wow. opening where he's at the bank and he's begging people not to do the run on the bank or right. something. Yes. But that's oh, about man. it. And it's... then I was like, yeah, well, that's fine. <gasps> so. Cause I'm, I'm married to George Bailey. My husband is a George Bailey. He, if you took him out of the equation, there'd be so many people's lives who uh, would be a mess without my husband's intersection and just his, you know, I don't know. He, you have to watch the movie. Okay. It's just All beautiful. Right. Okay. So it's wonderful. Life. Christmas in Connecticut. Um, the Bishop's wife. And then they redid it. That sounds it. like a horror flick. <laughs> it's not a horror flick? <laughs> no. Oh. It is, um, oh my gosh, I'm totally, help me. Um, there's nobody I here to help me. I there's nobody help here to help me. We can't help you. Come Maybe on, you can put it in dreamy, the chat. dreamy, dreamy, older. Um, Sean Connery. No, no. Not that Way dreamy. before him. Uh, people are going to be going crazy. Gene Kelly. As they're listening to this and watching this, they're going to be like, it's, I can see him. He's so handsome. Debonair. We're talking black and white again? Yes, it's a black and white. He's the angel. And why? Uh, in Sleepless in Seattle, they talk about him. They're like, Gunga Din is not a Swatch movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is his yeah, name? Okay, anyway. 
The Bishop's Wife. And then they redid it. The Bishop's Wife. With, um, and they called it The Preacher's Wife. And it had. Still sounds like a horror film. No, and they had the singer. Oh, I can't even think of her name. Wow. I got no sleep last night because I'm a menopausal woman. Um, <laughs> come on. She just sadly died. And um, Does anyone happily die? No. She no. was married to um, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Obviously, we are having this. a rough morning this morning, I'm so everyone. Sorry, but thank you. Guys. And you can put everything in the comments about, like, seriously, <laughs> like you. What? No. How can, can you not know these things? Part? Okay. Anyway, Preacher's Wife. They redid it. Okay, and then there's Brandon. Hi, and then um, wait, I'm still going. Oh, okay. still good. Yeah. Yes, we're setting the mood. Can I back up a little bit for oh, a Thanksgiving fall movie? We're okay. going from Christmas back because I have to mention Dan in real life. Have you ever seen Dan in real life? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's uh, with uh, Steve Carell. Yeah. And does he make the little mice? No. What no, is that? No, that's a weird, that was a weird. Way. I don't know <laughs> what that was. Weird one. That so was, I guess no. no Dan I did in not real see life, that. I have not seen. Oh my gosh, am I right? Dan in real life, so good. Okay. It's he plays a serious role, okay. but really sweet, and it's a romantic. Yeah, kind of a comedy, but some drama. Okay. So Dan good. In real life. I have to mention that. Yeah. So I would say um, put your comments about what movies you like. <laughs> down below Be and, nice uh, to and, me. and we, we, we'd like to, to know actually what you Whitney uh, Houston <laughs> wow it's good okay so Steve Carell falls in love with, with Whitney no, Houston that's nothing to do with Whitney preacher's wife Whitney oh, Houston okay All singer right. that died but we would love to hear your uh, your recommendations for Christmas. What puts you yes. in that holiday spirit? So and fun. what are those what are the movies that you, you go to every single year? Like, okay, this is like quintessential Christmas for me. So definitely yes. put those in the comments below. We'd love to, to see that. And maybe we'll comment on them. We'll pick some That'd of those at random. And we'll Watch talk Christmas about those movies. in Connecticut, you guys. It's so good. Okay. It's funny. It's so good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Christmas in Connecticut yeah. and some and, others. And The Bishop's Wife. Really okay. sweet. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, we are going to have our guests today. Yes, and We're going to have who some do we have us. on today? We have Ron and Darlene Fain. Yes. The Fains and they just of the in. Fain group. And so that is going to be a great interview. I'm excited to, to hear more about what they have. They are really part of, of Prescott's history. Yes, they and are. And they are part of Prescott's future as well. So we are excited to have lovely. them on. They're really lovely people. Yeah. So we are excited to have them. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about what their favorite go-to movies are and what puts them in that holiday spirit. In so stay tuned. And now here are Ron and Darlene Fain. Yeah. I am very excited. This is the first time we've done two people. Oh, we nice. usually just have one guest. And today we got two for the price of one. So I love a good BOGO. Absolutely. I love a good bargain. I love a buy one, get one. Chair. Yes, yes. When everything's free, it, uh, it's especially yes. poignant to have two free things. Right. So initially, I invited Ron, and I was like, I'd love to have you on the show. And he was like, not without my girl. That's, well, yeah, five minutes after Ray and I started talking, she really yeah. realized that uh, you need assistance. A little help. <laughs> a little help. <laughs> too, too stoic, too conservative. Oh, nice. We but that's now okay. Know. We I know. accept. The I better accept. half. Very nice. No, right. no. Excellent. And, and much prettier to look at. Oh, Sorry. But very sweet. I, I don't wow. blame you. <laughs> so Darlene and I met uh, through, I'm trying to think. Um, I think it was maybe through Boys and Girls Club, or yeah, was it, been, or maybe another journey, the foster care yes. stuff. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. She's another all over. She's yes. yeah. So, and but you, did you know? Uh, I knew Life Ron and Darlene, yes, through uh, through LifePoint, um, where I work as a pastor. And so then uh, you guys had attended there for a little while and just kind of got to know you briefly yeah. through a couple of different things there that uh, we held. So we love really Jeremy's announcements. He's like, yes, they're so the fun. Best. <laughs> nice. They're really so good. fun. My other creative outlet there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good. they're really good. You, you can see him on YouTube. Oh, yes. I'm sure I'm out there. LifePoint <laughs> Church, Prescott Valley. <laughs> they're on it's there. Kinda, now that you say that, we had this, uh, this moment the other day, and this is kind of the generation thing right my youngest nine years old yeah he decides to do like a popularity contest within our family and he googles <laughs> our names oh, and he's oh, like oh, oh cute. dad's yeah. photos out there a lot Absolutely. now where am i where's mom and they're like okay no 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 this is bad this is all social media like <laughs> Right. You know? Mom okay. wants to stay yeah. off of yeah. social media. She flies so, under radar. Yeah. Yes. She lets Jeremy shine. Yes, Aww. there you go. So it's it's kind of funny the, the effect that these things have on our kids. Like, well, well my kids think I'm famous. Them? No, no, no. Because I'm on YouTube. Well, oh, absolutely. absolutely. You are famous. Oh, sure. Are famous. Yeah. Right. I know. In my mind. Yes. Even absolutely. 
Yes. So tell us your story a little yes. bit about um, kind of how you guys met and, and what makes this dynamic duo uh, mm-hmm. shine. Aww. Well, we had, I'll just briefly, we had a yes. mutual friend who was, it, it was a tenant of a building that I was leasing and yes. she had a spa and she was cutting hair. And so as a good landlord, I went to Crystal, who is her name. Yes. I went to see Crystal <laughs> yes. and have Crystal cut my hair because I wanted to support our tenants. Love it. Yeah, nice. And I like that. I'd gone through a long divorce and, and uh, Crystal was egging me on to uh, meet a friend that she had. Way to go, Crystal. Yes. Thank you, Crystal. And I was cured off women. I, I was sure. cured. I'm like, yeah, I, you know, it too, didn't yeah. work once for me, and maybe this is not my cup of tea. And and uh, so I'll just stay sidelined. I'm very happy doing that. I got kids to raise. And yeah. from there, I'll let you jump in. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Well, she kept uh, probably a year. She was bugging us both. And I, I Googled Ron and went, I don't I don't know if it'd be a fit. <laughs> you know, not so sure. Here we are. Yes, yes. I am not photogenic. So it's not just my nine-year-old. No, it's no, no, not no, just no. your nine-year-old. This is how we do this now. And Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth was, the photo was really horrible. And so what Crystal... Yeah, he's cute. He's very yeah, cute. He's cute. Right. Absolutely. I'll pay a dollar later. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so Crystal, um, it was her birthday, and I was taking her out to dinner. And so Aww. she picks me up, and she says, I hope you're not mad at me, but Ron was in today for a haircut, and he finally said he would come meet you <gasps> and uh no warning nothing on my end so that's good to get to this stage yeah. uh, crystal's cutting my hair i finally decided you know here's just a just nice soul just a good person <laughs> trying to do something nice if i just accept yeah i'll get this over with and we can get back to normal <laughs> monthly haircuts yeah. this was nice. all in my in. mind <laughs> i just gave in it's crystal fine i'll do it and yes so we get to Olive Garden and Ron's at the bar all alone by Ron's himself. Sallied up to the bar, yep. all Ron. And of course, everyone he knew, like his biggest fears were like, you know, trying to stay under radar. And like yes. everyone was there that evening. <laughs> like <laughs> everyone. They all come up to me and they're like, Ron, why don't you join you us for dinner? Here? They're like, oh, I've got nice. a drinking problem. I'm already, you know, I'm through <laughs> divorce. They're all concerned about me. And like, come join us for dinner. No, I, I, I have a business associate I'm meeting. Yeah, Wells Fargo. I worked there at the time. He's like, I'm meeting with Wells Fargo. I'm meeting with Wells Fargo. Evening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very important. <laughs> so, but we met, and honestly, we talked like the whole evening. Were you mad at Crystal? Night. Though? Were you mad um, at Crystal? I was like, I would have dressed different, okay. like you know, done yeah, my hair, like, washed it at Come least, on. you know. <laughs> so, but um, it was really a neat time. It was the three of us just really enjoyed each other, and um, and she made him take my number because oh, I'm yeah. sure he would have never called oh, again. Oh, I would have not. No, I was Why? just <laughs> get out of the night. Oh, yeah. bless <laughs> your heart. You were ambushed big time. I was ambushed big time. Yes. Yeah. In multiple ways. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's pretty funny. So then, then did you uh, then call her or did she have to call you for that second time together? I think I texted together? Darlene. I said, okay. I texted her. I said, let's do this again and uh, see nice. if she wanted yeah. to go out. And yep. She responded, yes, let's go again. And, oh, nice. And I had, a, you know, in my front drawer of my desk at the office, I had like a stack of gift cards. <laughs> That I got yes. from coaching like all the kids, like <laughs> soccer, t ball, no. yeah. you know, all this. Yes, no, I had no. this true story. I had a stack of gift cards. So, you know, I didn't like, I liked Darlene. She was easy to talk to. You know, what really drew me to her was how she weaved the, you know, God through all of her yes. conversations naturally. So I'm yes. like, she's safe. Yes. She's worth a gift card. Yes. <laughs> yes. Gift card worthy, oh. apparently, right? For Chili's. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, well, so I have to say worthy. something because that evening he takes me into Chili's, right? And one of the waitresses oh, comes no. up and plants a big old kiss on his lips. And I'm thinking on to myself, lips? yeah, yeah, she's like, Ron, hello. And I'm like, uh, he's a player. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? no, I'm not sure about this. And no. nothing like that has ever happened no, since. No, 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 it was no, no. hilarious. No, 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 and no. she was just a sweetheart. She loved my father and she loved all of us in the family. And she, oh. and she hadn't seen me in a long time. Yeah. I had just been, not been out in public not doing anything so when she finally saw me again like what are you doing how are you and it was one of those endearing kind of i haven't nice. seen you in a long time just so yes. happened to be on our first unescorted date yeah. unchaperoned date. date yeah gift card date with darlene jealousy jealousy can be a very powerful motivator right. so yeah you know, like, wait a second this is my man hey. planted in advance you know that try to no, it's so cute but like that week i think we had you had like five gift cards so we did chilies 
<laughs> Red Robin. I think, uh, I don't know, what other ones? We did them all. Red all Lobster. <laughs> I'm like, boy, this guy has a lot of gift cards, you know? <laughs> and my daughter That's happened so to be crazy. out of town so that week. And so we really kind of connected and dated about a year before I met the family, which is another interesting story. Oh, <laughs> yes. So. Yep, we just, we kept each other, I don't, maybe under radar is, I don't know if that's the right word, but we just, you know, we wanted to know each other first oh, yeah. Yeah. before we started complicating things with kids and other things. Opinions, and, other people's and other, opinions. Other stuff, yeah, yeah. we yes. just wanted the time and the space just to. That's smart. Mm, was Wisdom on his part, for sure. Very yeah. smart, yeah. So I want to take yeah. a second out here. So okay. how about you you and Andy? Yeah. When you're dating, how did that that go as far as him paying for things and doing oh, stuff like that? Was he kind paying. of more more of that, that um, kind of guy who was going to yep, yeah, I'm taking care of everything or was he using um, gift cards? Yes. Yeah. He would have liked drawer? to have been. But he was an immigrant. So from England. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use the word cuz I like it. Uh, and so when he came to school, we met in Bible school. He couldn't work. So oh. he would fix people's cars and they would pay him, you Little know, odd jobs and- he would do laundry for the guys on the guy's really? floor. Yeah. Wow. Whatever he had to do. So, you know, so he, he'd pay occasionally, but we would try and do, you're in college. Yeah. Mm. So you try to do cheap. Mm. You go for walks. Creative. Yes. You know, see, yes. it's all. And, and then I thought, oh, this guy likes to go for walks. He does not like to go for walks. He just Aww, he did it because we had no money. And Aww. to spend time with you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Spend time you with make me. sacrifices. Right. This is what you do. Totally. That's, that's what awesome. What about you, well, Jeremy? So I have a bad reputation because uh, Because you were all, yes, gift card. So, you're my guy. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You're a coupon guy, aren't you? Oh, man. <laughs> and and to, much, to, much to the detriment of... Even now, I mean, we've been married 20 years and it still comes up. Cause now, I mean, Ethan's 16, he's <laughs> right. about to be dating and versus like, you may not be like your dad. <laughs> Cause like we'd go out and I'd ask her to go out and uh, and it, it actually took a third party for us too. We're, we're driving and her good friends in the back, she's like, why don't you guys just admit you like, <laughs> like each, each other? other. And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, but on these dates, Marissa would just say, hey, um, you know, I can, I can pay. I'm like. Oh, fantastic. <gasps> <No>. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy. Okay. Like, <laughs> save a buck, John. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's Perfect. hilarious. And that's she's bad. like, you, after we get married, I, I can't believe like she said yes, thinking, you know. Girl, hey, his, <laughs> Marissa, you're a special. So yes, she, she saw is. something. She saw something redeemable. Aww. But uh, but yeah, she's like, I, I, why did you say yes every time? Like, why did you offer every time? <laughs> like, were you a liar? <laughs> did you not want to actually pay? No. Then just be oh honest. Gosh, yeah. She didn't. I would have paid probably. Maybe not. Yeah. But, <laughs> we could you know, split it. <laughs> that's right. right. Two for one. You like a good buy one, get one free. I'm so, telling that's you. Cute. Uh, the gift card. That's yes. hilarious. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not alone. Oh, yeah. no. You know, there no, was no. wisdom in that, right? There's no a lot of you out there. Right. There's no obligation in the gift card. No. Right? It's just out there. It's like <laughs> we're friends. Yeah. We can meet. We can have a nice conversation mm-hmm. over food. No and... attachments. Right. Right. Yeah. That it doesn't cost good. me anything but time. <laughs> yeah. And then you ran out of gift cards, and yet here you are. Then we went are. on walks. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of hiking here in Prescott. Yes. So. Smart. Great hiking. I like him. Yeah. Oh, that's, awesome. that's so good. Well, uh, thank you so much for sharing that that uh, that bit of your story. So yeah. that's really good. Yes. And how how long have you been married now? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Oh, the seven year itch. Dated, dated for five. No, it took right? on a, a little bit of time to propose, but yeah, seven year itch. That's true, yeah, right? They do right? say well, that. Well, didn't happen for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You? Seven no, year itch now. No. no, I, no, no I think no. they just made a movie out of it. That I think it. so too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You guys are good too. How many kids between you guys? So, five. yeah, five kids. Five, five kids between you, but how many grandbabies? Yeah, nine. Nine, nine, nine grandkids. Awesome. And one more coming. So, <gasps> okay. we're going to have around even ten. 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 <laughs> Boom. Now you got to yeah. go for a dozen. I, yeah. A dozen is good. It's cheaper by the dozen. It's cheaper, cheaper yeah. Dozen. They do say, Somebody although I don't know about for Christmas. No, so, that's yeah, true. Gifts. It's a little that's pricey true. with get those grandkids, you know? Darlene starts with one grandchild. And just says after you know a couple three hundred dollars later, she's like, oh. "It's perfect." And oh, now I'm like, well, "No, it's but not." Yeah, <laughs> got to even it out. Because <laughs> she's like wants to treat everybody the same and yes. equally. But you yes. know, like good yeah. so she finds too. something for one one child and just is a home run and That's cascades it. what she yeah. does. Yeah. Do they call you grandma? Because you don't seem like a grandma. They You're like do. a nana or a Grammy or something sassy. Yeah, they do Whoa. call me grandma. Sassy. But grandma. before I met Ron, I was already grandma. And okay. So 
when then yeah. he wanted to try to change my handle to Bunny. Well, see, Bunny. yeah, right. And, and okay. he wanted the grandkids to call him Senator, so Senator Ron and Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. And I said, <laughs> I thought that would be an not. awesome. That's horrible. Senator, what are you, a racehorse? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought it would be good. And Sitting Senators you know, running in the just, second. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. Exactly. In the future, right. you know. <laughs> and they're already, they're already used Bunny. to it. No, Senator a whole Bunny. picture of it's the. Horrible. Yeah, it's not horrible, that good. Thank you, Randy. I agree. But it might make a really good children's book. Yes. You know, it's Senator, it's Senator and Bunny. Bunny. It sounds you cool. Yeah. You're always thinking, Jeremy. See, yeah. Jeremy, I like how you see the bright side of everything. Absolutely. Yes. A children's book. A children's, children's book. book. Very cute. Yeah. yeah. Little bunnies. Yeah, awesome. Senator and Bunny. <laughs> wow. Um, Ron, a question to you. Yeah. So, growing up as Ron Fame, how was that for you? Just, you well, know, you I don't, own half the mountain. It's a great your question. Yeah. Uh, you know, growing folks. up, I don't know that I ha- I was conscious to that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't, I don't know that I was, you know, realized that, that, uh, that there was so much there, yeah. you know, growing up. But I, I did realize, though, when I went to my friend's house or played with my buds and, and hung out in town, you know, I did recognize a difference there. And uh, when they came out and saw me, certainly there was a difference. But mostly it was, you know, me just, you know, loving on everybody because they loved on me. Yeah. And so it was, it really, it, it really never entered the picture in friendship at all. Well, that's neat. And so there was no young man, this is your name and you watch yourself out there well, in town. There, there, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, you're, because in a small town like Prescott, you know, yes. 20, 30 years ago, even yeah. really today still, oh, yeah. is that everybody knows you. And yes. again, you know, it's so if I'm around town, someone, my parents know, so, sees me and says, oh, he just saw Ron down <laughs> right? the court. So they, you didn't need cell phones back there no. to track no. kids in a small town because you just great? come across yeah. people. And, and so that that worked, you know, yeah, I, I had to watch my P's and Q's because of right. that for, mm. for no other reason. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Did you ever want to just be rebellious? Um, no, I <laughs> no? was really, you know, <laughs> I'm a rule kid. follower. I, I, I you. I, Give I, me I something, know, Ron. I'm boring. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> When we dated, I used to tell him, run a red light once in a while. Come on. Like, break the rules, yeah. you know? Do it. <laughs> So. She might be trying to get rid of you. I don't know. <laughs> running red lights. That's a little dangerous. A little risky. Yeah, not no. not no. speeding. No, I love red that. Lights. I love that. That's, that's neat. Good. And growing up in watching everything kind of grow and develop, there has to be some, not pride in a bad way, but some, I, I just don't have that in my family. I don't have the, the legacy. Hmm. You know, yeah. and I don't know how many of us do. Yeah. Where you have a really rich legacy. I remember in running area. into when I drive to high school uh, out from Dewey, mm-hmm. and it was one stoplight. Yeah. It was none, but then there was one. It was Robert, Robert Road, Road. sixty nine. Wow. Okay. That's what I've and heard. And so that was like, you know, when the stop stoplight <laughs> showed up, it oh, felt man. like we've arrived. <laughs> nice. We we're like a real town. <laughs> We got a stoplight. We got a stoplight oh, on 69. Great. And now there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, yes, boy. there is. Yes. <laughs> to stop people like me, which is a good thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. And I think in my being naive, you know, I drive into town and I'm like, okay, here's the flat ground. Here's the hilly ground. Yes. And here's Prescott. And I'm like, okay, Prescott, Prescott Valley. Nothing in between is going to develop. And boy, oh. was I wrong there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, I'm just, you know people have vision and, and things yeah. happen and yeah and uh yeah and it changed yes yeah, it changed Definitely. dramatically it's changed yeah. quite a bit yeah. Yeah. yeah and darlene how about you where did it. you grow up and what brought you to, to the oh, prescott area nice. yeah so i grew up in phoenix born and okay. raised yep and then um i went through a divorce like around kind of around somewhat the same time and my sister lived here and so i moved just to kind of have a fresh start with yeah. at the time my daughter yes. and um yeah and it was it's a you know something to get used to when you first come i worked at wells fargo bank um initially inside safeway so you know okay. my world was pretty small yeah. you know Very dropped small. my daughter off to high school and get <laughs> in my box and yes. um but it took some time but i love it here now yes. it's oh, just yeah. the community is so precious really a lot of good people, yes. good families, and Definitely. so yeah, it's it's been a blessing to get to know Ron and his mm-hmm. family, and and really just so many people here. It's been rewarding for yeah. sure. Oh, that's really cool. So I yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. And so kind of back to that vision thing, Ron. Uh, just the vision for the area and and who you are and what you do. Um, you you were kind of saying just that you said it like even between the two towns. 
people that had vision and now things yeah. have developed because of, of people's uh, interest and, and desire to be here in this community that we love and that is growing um, and, and that has a flavor for itself. So what is kind of that vision that you have as, as you continue to, to look well, at Presque, Presque Jeremy, Valley? it's a great question. And it's- He has them once in a while. <laughs> and, and I would say that, you know, for Prescott's history, the, the front door was always the white spars mm. coming up through Wickenburg. You'd come out of Phoenix, you'd come up through Wickenburg, you'd hit the white spars. That was the main entrance into Prescott. Oh, yeah. And what is Prescott Valley today, Dewey, Hum Dewey Humboldt, was really the backside of oh, oh, Prescott. I love that. See, I had no you know? idea. And uh, so my father, I think, when he went to school, and, and, and we're a longtime ranching family and still run cattle and ranch, but when my oh, father wow. went to school down at U of, U of A, he kind of made a commitment to himself. He says, we're going to make something happen uh, mm. out in Prescott Valley. And, and at the time, my grandfather was selling uh, sections of ground, uh, which is really the 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 heart of Prescott Valley today. And uh, my father then uh, started the utility company, which was Shamrock Water Company. And then back in those days, you could, uh, the, the land company would sell a lot. Uh, and then you could get a free pool from APS about 300 feet of power so they do a free pull to the next lot at 300 feet uh, instead of sell the one next to it they'd go 300 feet and then we'd pull the water my father would pull the water along with APS power and that's kind of how Prescott Valley slowly got its start wow, wow. brilliant it was mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. he really Forward created yes, my father really created the idea says I want to build a town someday that's bigger than Prescott Oh my word! And, and he did before he passed away. The population oh, uh, exceeded the population of Prescott. <laughs> yeah, and really, yeah. the magic. I, you know, just being by my father side by side for all mm. the years that I worked with him was really he created a space, a clearing where others could see their vision, their life, their dreams, yeah. their family, whatever aspirations they had in life. That's what Prescott Valley is. Mm. is people come there and they plant themselves and they say, this is where I want to, you know, create my family, start my business, go to work, raise yeah. my kids. Yeah. Uh, nice. and, and it's their vision inside of, of, mm. of what we're doing inside of Prescott Valley so if we're doing our job right uh, it's it's a it's a garden for many other people to have their dreams and visions come true Ooh, that's, that's beautiful really cool. beautiful yeah, yeah. cultivating that that's really why can't you say things like that it's like <laughs> so I'm awesome. not that smart <laughs> it was like, like poetic built, it, was. it was it was really good it Ron well, cheers but, to that Ron. it would be it would be uh, like it would be inappropriate for me to say we're the mastermind of what what makes Prescott Valley wonderful it's yeah. just not the case yeah, yeah. I mean, no. we we could have done what we'd have done and if mm -hmm. no one would have showed up That's it'd true. still be an empty right. prairie you know yeah. and good or bad yeah, but yeah. others saw their life here and that's yeah. what we continue to do is develop things that the general public see value in yeah where they see their cool. vision. Uh, i remember when we were choosing to move out here there were two very important things to me and it wasn't the school district it was called my sister-in-law is there a target is there a world market yes. <laughs> that's it. those are the now that was my bottom line <laughs> okay and, and now, now half of it's gone my world I market know. is gone oh, okay. i miss it but i'm still surviving because target is it, Still, Still here. here. Yes. Nice. And now yes. Costco, so we're good. And I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> That's awesome. That was my that was my meter. <laughs> like that that boggles my mind that someone could look at some place and too. say, Man, I, I want to build a city here. Yes. You know? like, yes. Even for just a Lego set with like 30 pieces i need the instruction book like okay this one goes here you know right. so that's really cool that someone can can have the foresight and see the the potential for an area and then see it to fruition see yeah. it come to fruition yeah. especially you know in his own lifetime uh is just yeah. is really really cool it's, it's very, very inspiring special. Mm -hmm. um, he was a wise man he really was a shrewd businessman and just the thing i always loved hearing of your dad is he was a handshake guy so okay. everyone said like if he shook your hand like the deal Done. is golden and he would never stray from it it uh, would you know you could count on him as a trustworthy man and yeah, that's really good i think his boys are following in that same oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> he left big giant shoes yeah behind i can imagine for us to fill up, you know and so we're It'd be hard yeah i move one shoe my brother moves the other shoe that's and we're lovely. we're trying to stay you know honor him honor the family legacy mm, we're fourth really generation wow. uh, native to the state native to the county that is so wow. cool uh, tell fifth, them about your grandfather that your dad's dad yeah, was he the one that came out from Missouri? I think he was. Uh, that? Great, uh, 
great grandfather came out of the Midwest wow. uh, in on a covered wagon, mm. pulling uh, pulling one steer and oh, a couple of horses landed yeah. in the Fort Verde area. Okay, and whether whether he just ran out of money or whatever, he just stayed there, started cutting hoe grass for the military fort. That time back in 1874. And started farming and, and started working on roads, keeping wagon roads um, cleared and, uh, oh and travelable. And then also started a little bit of cattle. Oh, it wasn't wow. until my great-grandfather, who was born in Cornville, uh, Granville fame, uh, he, he became uh, the real cattleman of the family and started uh, gathering cattle and running ranches. He started, went through school through the third grade and then stayed horseback the rest of his life. Wow. Oh, my word. And, and wow. was really known for his um, ability to uh, be a, a, a ranch man and a cow man and, and was named King of the Range uh, by the Arizona Republic. So oh, he, my he, was, word. Uh, he was well thought of and well regarded. Oh. It's in right. that industry, mm. yeah. Wow, what a And legacy. then, it, you know, just things kept unfolding, and yeah. one thing led to another, and we're blessed to be here for that many generations. Mm. That's oh, incredible. Word. That is just... Me. I get his, goosebumps. His yeah. grandfather was a senator of Arizona, and he was responsible, or at least um, had mm-hmm. a lot to do with I-17 coming. Oh, well, okay. bless him. Yes. <laughs> so we can get, we don't have to take those back roads once. with a squirrely. You know? I've done it once. <laughs> yeah. I will it, not do it again. It definitely makes you feel not so great. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Nice. That's <laughs> wow. But, so, yes. Cheers Lots of to rich him. history, yes. <laughs> so we are coming up into the Christmas season. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. This is actually going to air December 1st. So yes. uh, we're excited that uh, I can't Aww. believe it. I mean, it's 2021. That's my son's birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You better be watching this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, uh, so what kind of things do you guys do to prepare and kind of get in the spirit of Christmas and the mood for Christmas? Anything that you have as traditions? He's well, looking to you. Yeah. Because he's hitting me because yesterday <laughs> so. he spent the whole day with me putting up trees ah. and decorating and that is not his favorite thing, but he's a great sport. We were texting nice. and he actually called himself Grinch. He is a little yeah. bit of a Grinch. He, like with the decor he part he's okay. like Arr. but um, that, I like the Christmas music and yes. setting it all up oh. uh, but once that's done he so enjoys it yeah. yes after yeah. it's done but all the decisions have to make you know is this right is that not right yes move the tree here move the tree there yeah. these are things you guys don't know Take when you down, ask us yes. will you marry me yes. we, you should have read the fine print you didn't Absolutely. so it's your fault oh, man. We, we have a tradition of scotch eggs have you guys heard oh, of yes. scotch oh, eggs I'm married to a Brit Mm. Oh, so gotcha. and who makes yes. them? We both we, do. We make them okay. together. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm it's put my order in. Super good. Yeah, yeah. that's been yeah. something that the kids have all enjoyed, and oh, you it's can a lot get of the fun. kids to eat them. Yes. Good for you. Yes. That's great. They love them. So <laughs> they're an acquired taste. So now, is that like a traditional thing? It's this time of year, or just yes. okay? Yeah. I mean, in England, you can get them all year round, but it okay. it, it is a more of a holiday. It's food. a Christmas thing. Yeah. Christmas yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, it's like a hard boiled egg with spicy sausage around it, rolled in Ritz cracker. Yeah, and then. We put ours in the oven, oven bake, yeah. and then oh, okay. cut them in half with parsley and white sauce, and it they're they're to die for. They're a heart oh, bomb, yum. but yummy, yummy. Yes, <laughs> awesome. sister. Okay, okay, how about movies? Movies, you have favorite Ooh, ones? I do. So mine is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Remember that oh, one? Uh, yes, that is John a Thanksgiving Candy. movie for us. Steve Martin. But yeah, yeah, so I funny. I love that one. Yes. Okay. What about you? Mine's, mine's <laughs> Rudolph, the old, the old Rudolph, really? the red nose reindeer, oh, yeah. Claymation. Claymation. Oh, I love that. that is, you know, for whatever reason, when that came on, it was like better than all the other cartoons, and I still like it today. Is that so the one with the abominable that. snowmans in there? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And Yukon uh, something. Yes. Yep. Oh. And he has a tooth. Does someone want to be a dentist? Well, the abominable snowman. He, yeah, yeah, that's why he's so grumpy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. They extract the tooth, and right. he's like, oh, so great. How, how, <laughs> does, he, how does he say oh, it? So great. Oh, okay. Just checking. He's got a little Kermit the Frog in him. Okay. I love it. Bit. <laughs> oh, okay, those, those are really good. good. Those yes. are good ones. And I remembered from our intro, can I say, oh. Cary Grant. Oh, Cary Grant. Yes, he's the good. Actor. Oh, Mystery Solved. Now we did I can that just sleep so you tonight. watch 
through, through the end. They were we just all trying to figure it out. People just starting, they're like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. Watch the beginning. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, Prescott just had their, their light parade this last weekend, and then yes. Prescott Valley is going to be having their yes, lighting Friday. parade Friday. Yep. So yeah. that's really exciting. The are there other things that, uh, that happen within the town of Prescott Valley that kind of mark that season for you guys? Mm. Well, Valley of Lights. Yes, Valley we did Lights. that. Oh, yeah, of course. Huge. Blue Reese. That yeah. is a tradition for us. And they've done us. a really good job just growing that thing yep. over the years. So sweet. It's, it's really so fun. a cool thing. So My husband said, it. he's like, it never changes. Why do And I said, hun, oh, no, that's I think the it does. beauty. Well, I mean, they add a few things, but you know, you're going to do the same route. Well, you're going to. Yeah. And I said, just yes. think when our kids come home from college, they're going to, mom, dad, can we do the Valley of Lights? And they're going to go, this hasn't changed. And what nice. an awesome feeling that is. Yes. Nice. To me, yes. that's tradition. That's special. Yes. I love that. I'm building on that. Absolutely. So we, we have. We have uh, a little moon roof on one of our vehicles, and so yes. like we take that one, oh. and the kids take turns popping their head that's out, like especially through the tunnel of lights. They're like, oh, yes. that's so, so cool. cool. It's so sweet. Those moments of wonder do come back, even though that like I'm 16, 15, and nine. Doesn't matter. Uh, that they're, they're still, yeah. That we the were in our the PJs, awesome. and we you know went through Chick Fil A for me, and <laughs> McDonald's for another person, and then, oh, right, we all, and then you eat in the car. And oh, it. that's cool. That's so a fun. great tradition. Nice. It is so I mean, great. Hmm. My tradition is to um, to ignore the people at the end who are. Asking for donations, oh. so I'm like, oh, you're like back to the free thing. I didn't see you. Like, oh, you're no, this is this is free. I'm this is free, right? <laughs> Marissa's like, give them money. <laughs> Thank you, Marissa. Thanks for Marissa. Wait, as long as she's yeah. paying. Yeah, exactly. Oh, In her purse. Honey, would you want me to get this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yep, Valley of Lights. Oh yeah, you're paying. Oh my gosh, that's no hilarious. I'm, I'm stingy. It's so bad. Oh Even for good cut. <laughs> I give it the office. I gave it the office. Oh, I gave but, it the yeah. office. Anyway, well, thank you guys, uh, you guys. so much Aww, for, for coming for and for talking to us for a little bit. It's really good to lovely. know more about your story and just that, I mean, the generations that you've been here and then how you guys yeah. got connected is really cool. And uh, just those those things of, of family and Christmas, it yeah. really is one of those aspects of, of Prescott that yeah. uh, every what the Christmas city and, and just everyone's in town and, and uh, the fact that um, we are in this collaboration. I think there's one of the coolest things we've heard through Throughout uh, the different people we've talked to, is that people are willing to work together to see their dreams, to see their visions mm-hmm. come together, so that we can all live here mm-hmm. and enjoy what Prescott, Prescott Valley, Dewey Humble have yeah. to offer. So, Lovely. thank you so much for being here. Thank you oh. to the fame. Oh. That's right. Thank you thank for you. having me and Ray, and, and <laughs> we want to just thank you for what you're doing for community because it takes people like yourselves who will knock on the door, mm-hmm. invite people here, and get community exposed to the talented group of folks that make Prescott Prescott valley the yeah. dynamic place it is to live we would never get to know that unless we watched your show so yes. thank you oh, for, you're welcome. for you. being creative yes. putting that together and finding the most amazing people with the exception of me no, <laughs> <whatever. Darling Count. laughs> to, to come talk to and you really get a feel for what the community is about when mm-hmm. you get to, when you oh, get to good. hear someone's story so we just That's appreciate good. everything that you're doing yeah well, i'm thinking you. regis and kathy lee here i'll, I'll, take, it. I'll yep. take it she has great skin i'll take oh. that great skin. Yeah. <laughs> Great skin. All right, there you go. This is what we're going for. Great skin. Well, thank you so much for joining us for uh, this episode of Getting Together. And we hope you are going to have an awesome, awesome time as you prepare to to celebrate Christmas. And we uh, we are just grateful to the fans for being here. Like and share this. There's something in these. Like, that's what I like about um, talking to people about these things. There's something for everyone. So like and share as you uh, just kind of have something come to your mind. Share this with others. We're excited to, uh, to bring you more episodes in the future. So stay tuned. Thanks again for joining us. Bye. Bye. Very nice.